Subscribe to Technobrine channel for latest videos and updates. Hello friends, in this video I will be unboxing a WD Green SATA SSD drive which is a 240GB version. I will also show you how to install on an old HP laptop, so let's begin. This is how the SSD drive packaging looks like. Let's open the box. The capacity of this drive is 240GB. This is how the SSD drive looks like and this is the information. This is the SATA interface. Since it is a SATA SSD drive, we can install it on any laptop which supports SATA interface. And the speed of this SATA drive is 545 MB read per second, which is almost 8 times faster than a normal hard drive. That's why these SSD drives are in trend because they have very high capacity. So this is an old laptop and this is the 2010 model from HP and uh, let's begin this is the hard drive area where the the old hdd is installed so let's open it first so this is where the hard drive is now we have to unscrew it further This is also a SATA hard drive, you can see the connectors are same so and the size is also same. So to install it we have to further remove this casing and we will install it on our SSD. As you can see, I have removed the casing and the size of this drive is it's a 2.5 inch form factor hard drive so the size of the platter is around 2.5 inch it's inside the disc here and overall width, overall width is 7 centimeters and uh, it's uh, 10 centimeters around 10 centimeters yes yeah. So now let's take our SSD drive and we will install it in the casing. We have to install it like this. Yes. So the location of the screw is almost same in this new hard drive, uh, new sorry SSD, and we have to screw it on the same holes. This will ensure that it will stay in place in the laptop in case there is some shock or uh, any movement. So we have to install it like this. Then we will secure it here. So this is basically the physical installation completed and now uh, it doesn't have a operating system now so this laptop won't boot so to now I will install Windows 10 I have kept the Windows 10 on this flash drive and I will use it to install Windows 10 on it. Since this laptop has a Windows 7 license, so I will use it to upgrade it to a Windows 10. You can see it's a error of a non system disk because the new disk is empty. So we plug in the USB drive and then I will reboot the laptop. So 
you can see now the laptop is booted from the USB drive and Windows installation has started. The Windows installation will be a typical installation and it doesn't need any extra settings since the SSD will be detected as a normal storage. So I will enter the product key later. So there is no much problem and here we have to select the edition of Windows we have the license for which we have. So for this laptop it was Windows 7 Professional so we will select the Windows 10 Professional version. Here the SSD drive is detected and the capacity is 223 GB. It is the formatted capacity of the drive detected in Windows. And now we will select the whole partition and then click next. Now Windows will be installed on the SSD. This is an old hard drive, I took it out from the laptop. Actually this hard drive was going to die soon because the BIOS reported me that it has some smart error and it will die soon. So that's why I replaced it. You can see Windows installing very fast. first phase of the installation is almost going to complete and now the laptop will restart now I have removed the flash drive from the laptop and it will boot on, on its own from the SSD drive So as you saw the first phase started uh, almost 5 minutes ago and it completed very fast and now this is the second phase and it's now getting ready with the new hardware. So as you can see hard drives are slow and SSDs are really fast. They can take data quickly and can process a large amount of operation requests. So now we have the configuration phase and here we will select the country and all other settings. And you can see it has also detected the Wi-Fi drivers. So now it's working. I will enter my Wi-Fi password and connect it to the internet. So that later we can update and activate the windows with the Windows 7 Pro license. So now we are connected to the internet. So now we have the Windows 10 desktop and let's check the driver status and the SSD so we will go to device manager and only few drivers are missing and we have mostly all of the drivers and here you can see now this has the WD SSD drive and we can check in the task manager and here you can see uh, formatted capacity is 224 GB and the type is SSD. So now let's check the activation settings. To check the activation in the search bar type activation. Activation settings. And here we can check that the Windows 10 professional license is activated. And this laptop has a Windows 7 Pro license so here yeah, these are windows 7 professional license key and 
so what happened here is that the windows 10 took the license key and activated it online automatically so that's how this license has been activated so guys if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and i will bring more videos like this and take care bye bye